Investigators say they stopped the suspect on a dirt bike moments before he ran away. The scene unfolded in Marion County on Southeast Mary Camp Road and Emerald Road near Silver Springs Shores. Families who were at a nearby football field said they heard the gunshots and ran for cover. New 6's Mark Lehman has the latest developments. By the accounts we've been hearing, this was a terrifying situation for families who were at a nearby practice field at the time of the shooting. It happened not far from this intersection last night where investigators were gathering evidence. Our cameras captured the response from law enforcement when a Marion County deputy shot a man after a traffic stop. It happened close to a youth football practice, and we spoke with a parent who was there. My son was in the middle of a, of a play, and all of a sudden we heard... We heard gunshots. The woman doesn't want to be identified, but tells us the man was shot just a couple hundred feet away. All of us just started running, screaming. Kids were crying like it was it was very traumatic. The sheriff's office says the deputy pulled over a dirt bike driven by a man who had an open carry firearm. Investigators say the man then took off running towards the practice and the deputy opened fire when he claims the suspect reached for the gun. I tried to pull the firearm out and turns on the deputy. And when he did, the deputy shot him. Lieutenant Paul Bloom says the suspect never returned fire and his gun was recovered. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition and the deputy was placed on administrative leave, which is standard procedure. Meanwhile, the parent we spoke with says she's shaken but grateful no one else was hurt. It could have been a lot worse without just him getting hurt. It could have been so many other people. While the scene has been cleared out here, we're told the Florida Department of Law Enforcement is conducting an independent review of the incident. While that's underway, we're working to get answers to a lot of questions that remain about what happened. We'll keep you updated with details as we get them. In Marion County, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.